Hi, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Kingdom Upgrades YouTube, Facebook. I am your ambassador, Dylan. Come on, let's connect here. Where the kingdom evolves into the realm of reality, manifesting in the culture where glory becomes tangible, the place of rapid transformation within transition. Come on, meet me here where there is growing excellence i said in glory the lord bless you all and thank you for tuning in let's jump into this for a moment this is the day that the lord had made and we will rejoice and be glad in it in this hour you have to make your choice to rejoice in the lord it's a choice that you have to make to rejoice in the lord because it's a day that the lord has made so you have to make your choice choose to rejoice in each day that you would see and receive because the reality is you would never see another day like this day because today is the second of november 2022 and there will never be another day like this day so make your choice to rejoice in this day and enjoy this day in the lord okay we're looking today at urgent alert i was praying this morning and the lord began to minister to me and he labored this he labeled this titled urgent alert only God knows exactly what it's what is urgent and what we have need of we know our wants we don't know our needs okay so it's an urgent alert um you are spiritually useless my God a few days ago I did a post on my Facebook page and it went if you're not being used you are useless this is not my saying it's in the word of god follow me and you're going to see it in the word of god if we're not being used we're spiritually useless mean you're spiritually useless mean you are not of you spiritually okay and that is in the sight of god let's look at this here the apostle interest and purpose is to help see the church mature and come to the place of maturity but a lot of us despise apostolic teaching and preaching because we become very offended and easily offended why are we easily offended it's simply because we are still drinking milk when we should be in the place where we ought to be eating meat okay so we are offended because we cannot handle sound doctrine and sound teaching come on this is not the time for that we have to grow up come up higher it is time to eat meat a lot of us should be in the place where we're supposed to be eating meat but we're still drinking milk and we're still offended because we are drinking milk and are not prepared to be mature and even willing to be matured but are offended by everything that passed by okay so the quote I wrote, I did a content that I would, which I would tag below or above this content or video here. God is always preparing us literally for our next. Come on. We are always being prepared, you know, for our next. But some of us beca became so comfortable where we are. That we felt we have arrived that is a lie you will never arrive you will never arrive you will only transition so you not need to be pliable and teachable that you will always be growing and all will be prepared for your next when you are teachable and you're pliable you will always be pre prepared for your next but if you are resistant and you are not teachable and not pliable you will never be prepared for your next come on let's be real we're living in a real day a real time and if we don't conf confront it as it is we're living in deception and lies this is not the time to be arboring deception we need to begin to walk in the light we don't have place for that there's no space and time for such a thing it is time for us to come to the place where we realize that we have never arrived and we would never arrive. We have to be growing and glowing. Come on. Always being prepared for your next. Okay. 
so i have some good news for us literally in this season some of us haven't really catch this as yet but the reality is that you might be thinking it's only technology is upgrading but even the principalities and the powers demonic influence is upgrading in their operation come on to cause and create our demise come on and the only thing that is that is able to help us in this hour is divine revelation come on i am speaking of divine revelation which is divine intelligence come on you have to have divine intelligence because when jesus went to the cross he spoiled principalities and powers and he made a public and open show of them and he's still doing that in this hour he's still uncovering he's still exposing come on but we need to have divine revelation to be able to follow okay because it is witty intervention and creativity that god is going to use to uncover and expose because whatever is still covered can literally wreck havoc in our lives but what is uncovered on and exposed become ineffective it's powerless so by that god is exposing the spirit of god is exposing is revealing okay but before i continue to ex explain such let's go here and let us have an understanding and the importance of being hot and not lukewarm come on there's a reason why we ought to be hot and not lukewarm this is the the um we are in the revelation chapter three i'm going to read this the um, account where the message was sent to the church at Laodicea, the church that was lukewarm literally okay i'm reading from verse 15 of revelation chapter 3 i know your deeds that you are neither cold invigorating refreshing or hot okay wait i wish that you were cold or hot because you are lukewarm and to be lukewarm means to be spiritually useless because you're lukewarm you're spiritually useless and neither hot nor cold i will vomit you out of my mouth rejecting you with disgust come on because you say i am rich and have prospered and grown wealthy and have need of nothing and you do not know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked without hope and in great need of counsel i counsel you to buy from me gold that has been <coughs> heated red hot and re and refined by fire so that you may become truly rich and white and with white clothes representing righteousness to clothe yourself so that the shame of your nakedness will not be seen and healing salves to put on your eyes so that you may see look at this when the lord is preparing us it's a process literally it's a pruning it's a cutting it's a consecrating it's everything but we despise the pruning the consecration we get all up in our flesh and we're offended with everything and by everything and every person whereas a lot of times 99 percent of the time the situation and the problem really lies with us we have to deal with our inner self because your enemy is your biggest enemy come on so the reality is we refuse to be prepared to go through the fire okay to be refined okay and so that we can be truly rich but we would have come to a place whereby we thought we arrive and we have we're rich we're wealthy okay that is the story with the church at Laodicea because they were wealthy okay and they thought they arrived but they were miserable and wretched because they didn't have god they didn't have they weren't purified they weren't made clean they weren't made pure to be have to have this wealth that they thought they had materially 
spiritually they were not wealthy they were poor they were miserable and it's the same thing for us spiritually we are poor miserable naked okay so the lord is saying come to me that i will purify you so that your nakedness will not be revealed and seen by others come in let me purify you make you clean and prepare you okay and put eye salves on your eyes that you will see because the church the Ladesians, they had um they were they had medical um they used to make medicine for eyes eye ointment so he's saying come let me give you ointment on your eyes that you can see i will cause you to discern and be able to see okay that you will really see so here is where we are lukewarm spiritually useless because we are lukewarm the reality is in this hour mighty god <laughs> oh jesus you're supposed to be his workmanship okay you are supposed to be the workmanship you are the workmanship of god okay listen to this but you if you have not allowed him to work on you come on to purify you to bring you into this perfect piece of um treasure this piece of work that you want to put out there that finished work that is going to exhibit the the works of christ or the greater works or the mysteries okay or ex exhibit who christ is if you have not presented yourself or allow yourself put yourself there on the altar to be burned present your bodies as living sacrifice present yourselves so that you can be purified as a sacrifice come on we're in trouble we're really in trouble if this was not urgent the lord would not have labeled it as at, as urgent many of us need to seek the lord seek his face we have not sought him come on we are still lukewarm come on this is serious ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 said for we are his workmanship created in christ jesus for good works which god prepared before hands that we would walk in sin you were created beforehand it is done but coming into manifestation the workmanship the works of christ he has to work on you you have to be processed you have to present yourselves come on seek him that you will know him because in this hour there is no place for us to be lukewarm why can't we can't be lukewarm because where you're lukewarm <laughs> and you're spiritually useless with the hype of the technology and the upgrade in the kingdom of darkness with the operation of the principalities and powers you will be devoured because that if you have not crushed the head of the serpent if you can deal with a snake you can't deal with the dragon that is literally spitting fire in this hour and would spit fire in this hour so you have to deal with a snake so if you have not dealt with a snake and you're lukewarm your environment is breeding ground for serpents to come and lodge come on so you will well be inhabiting and cohabiting with serpents i'm speaking of serpentine spirits i'm speaking of evil spirit the serpent the dragon so if you have not been dealing with snake crushing the head of the snake and the serpents the venomous serpents it is difficult for you to deal with a dragon that will be spitting fire so that is why we need to be hot we can't be lukewarm we got to be on fire for god i'm speaking of fire for god you must not be a dwelling place your life must not be a dwelling place for evil spirit and evil spirits demonic influence come on the word of god declares that in psalms 
122 well, sorry psalms 107 verse 2 okay that we are the redeemed of the lord let the redeemed of the lord say so okay let the redeemed of the lord say so you ought to know that you're redeemed by the lord i pray mercy today god's mercy and deliverance today i pray god's mercy and deliverance today on us let's pray together lord deliver me from the assignment of hell in this hour deliver me from the assignment of hell in this hour in jesus christ's name i am the redeemed of the lord the word of god declares that let the redeemed of the lord say so that i am the redeemed of the lord i declare no weapon formed against me shall prosper for my righteousness is of the lord and whatever i do will prosper for i am like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water that will bring forth my fruit in this season i declare my life will be fruitful in this season in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name god is faithful god is faithful this is not time for us to play we ought to be very serious seek the face of god seek the face of god seek the face of god that you will know him as your shield and your protector and your buckler your strong tower you will know him as your gibor you will know him as your high priest you will just don't say he is your high priest but you will know him to be your high priest okay and you he who dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of the almighty you will know that you're dwelling in the secret place of the most high and you will know that you're abiding under the shadows of the almighty and evil will not come nigh thee so in this hour the adversary is on a hot pursuit and he's coming after leaders and the seducing spirit is on assignment so if you're not hot and you're lukewarm you're literally a victim because the seducing spirit literally when you come under the influence of the seducing spirit someone can be carrying a seducing spirit they carry the seducing spirit and being in their very presence having a conversation with them okay they begin to influence you staring at you in your eyes they begin to influence you come on and if we are not spiritually mature and we're not on fire for god we're going to become victims of this manifestation it's on it's happening and we're going to be devoured be awake and wake up from your slumber people this is no time for competition for show for glam and glitz no my god help us lord help us this is no time for religion and religiosity we're in a real battle we're in a real battle seek the lord getting hiding seek him seek his protection get to know him as your high priest dwell in that secret place mighty god lord have mercy lord have mercy and help us i pray today for discernment i pray your discernment will be heightened in jesus name mighty god mighty god mighty god mighty god mighty god meet us at the point of our needs individually and collectively and become that which you must to us god in this hour in this hour in this hour in jesus name in christ's name mighty god mighty god the lord bless you shalom